The student athlete is this concept that must be developed by almost every aspect of an athlete's life. The athlete must learn um, the duality between sports and academics. It's, it's not something that you can get to college and say, hey, oh, you know, now I am a student athlete. It has to be a way of life. I think that's the best way to think about it. Because what that athlete has to learn at every aspect of their career is that there is not one or the other, that you are both those things. You are both a student and you are both an athlete. If you want to be in an academic realm, you have to understand the balance between what you do in the classroom and what you do and, and the field of play. So understanding that duality at a very old age is so important because it only gets more difficult. When you become an NBA player, when you become a professional athlete, when you become a professional baseball player, hockey player, football player, it changes. It may not be a duality between academics and sports. No, it becomes sports and life. You're going to be a parent. You're probably going to be an athlete and you're going to have to figure out your transition. You're going to have to figure out your agent. You're now a small business. You have to be able to balance and embody all these things that define you. So what I think when you're in high school, when you're growing through the ranks, understanding the balance between academics and sports is a, really a precursor to understanding how to live a full life that has the multiplicity of things that are happening in that life. And if you don't have the skill set, and if you didn't learn the skill set at a very uh, early age, then you're not going to have those skill set when you have to add multiples of things on top of what you are. There is no such thing as an athlete. You're an athlete at the professional level that embodies a multiple of things. You are talking about a brand. You are talking about your family. You are talking about your entourage. You're talking about your school. You're talking about your team. You're talking about the unions. You're talking about the league. You're talking about your endorsements, your agent, your tax manager, your financial consultant, your lawyer. You have an army of people that you have to be responsible for and you are at the center of all of these things. So if you can't manage these people, then these people will manage you and that is not in your best interest.